Editable PDFs are some of my best selling products in my Etsy shop and in my Shopify store. And people just really love when they can add their own personalization to their printables. So today I'm gonna to show you how you can make an easy editable PDF that you can sell in your shop. So people really love when they can make their own customizations on a printable, but sometimes sellers require them to use like a fancy software that they don't necessarily know how to use and it's just more complicated than it needs to be. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make a very simple editable PDF. Editable PDFs can be filled in by anyone on a computer and you don't have to have any special software or anything like that. You can just open it right up in your browser and type in whatever you wanna type in. It's super simple and user friendly. So I used to use PDF Escape for this. They had a free version that was really awesome. I really liked using it and it was so easy to use but they for some reason changed it now i have a hard time doing anything on there so i have started using docfly instead which i find to be really simple to use i can make the customizations that i want really easily and it makes it so simple. I'm gonna show you today how to use the free version of Docfly so that you can make an editable PDF to sell in your store. I'll be showing you how to add text boxes, check boxes, and radio buttons. So I'm here on Canva. I'm gonna make my basic design on Canva just because I find it easier. A lot of the sites that you can use to make your editable part of your PDF, you can also design on, but I just find it more difficult. I like to design on Canva and then pull it in over there. So that's what I'm gonna do here. So I was thinking I'll make some recipe cards. So I'm gonna make my recipe cards four by six. I just have a square here. So I'm gonna use the rulers here to measure this out. So I have six there and four here. So I'm gonna leave this pink because I wanna make these kind of like fun um, baking style. So I'm just gonna grab some cute, like I'm gonna try to find a cute cupcake to put on here. So this is going to be my design that I make in Canva and then I'm going to make all the rest of it editable. So what I'm going to do is just select all of this and duplicate it so that I have two of them on each page and then I'm just going to center everything. So now I'm going to go up here to share. I'm going to download and then I want PDF print and I'm going to flatten this so that my design is safe from people pulling it apart and using it. And then I'm going to just click download. Now I'm heading over to Docfly. So here's the thing, you can use Docfly for free, but you need to download your files otherwise they get deleted after 24 hours. So if you want to be able to keep all of your documents here on Docfly, you'll have to get a subscription plan. So I'm going to new file and then upload from computer. Then I'm just going to drag and drop my file right there and it'll upload. So I want to go to form creator. This editor is going to be just like adding text and things like that here, but we want to make it so that they can add their own text. So I'm going to add a text field for the top and then I can just stretch it out to the size that I want. So this will be where they can put their recipe name in. So I wanna make the font a little bit bigger. I wanna center that. So I'm just gonna center it right here. And then that one's good to go. And so now down here, I wanna add a paragraph field so that they can type in the whole recipe. So I'm just gonna place that and then stretch it out how I want it. And these squares will not show once they print it out. It'll show so that they can see where to type in, but it won't show when they print. So for this one, I'm gonna go down to 12 size font, and then I can 
type and practice. If you want to change the font, you can do that. I'm just going to leave it the same. So you can see that size font compared to that one. If you want to make it even smaller, you can. Um, whatever size you think looks good for your project. So then you can just remove the text from there if you want to, or you can leave example text in there if you want, and then they can re remove the text themselves. So now on this bottom one, obviously you would just copy those two things and put it down here, but I'm going to show you how to do a couple other things on here that don't apply to my recipe cards, but I want to show you how to do them. So the checkbox field. So you can do, let's say you had uh, some text right here. So this will make a checkbox. And then when they click in it, it just puts a little check there. And then if you click, click it again, the check will remove. So you can size it to the size that you need and you can do different styles. So you can do like that. The cross will make a little X. You can make it a circle, square, a star, or a diamond. So that's pretty cool, huh? And then you can make it bigger if you want to. So say you wanted the check mark to be bigger in the box, just choose a different size font. So the check boxes, you can you can have those like you can have multiples and they can all be checked in. So then there's the radio field, which would be kind of like a multiple choice kind of thing. So you can put in a, in a couple of choices or however many choices you want. So this has choice one and choice two here. So I'll just go ahead and leave this. You can align them vertically or horizontally. So then just click OK. And then here you have your radio buttons. So then it just puts a dot in there. Now, you can't choose both of them. It'll only choose one because that's what it's meant to do, like a multiple choice kind of a thing. So you can only choose one choice. Hopefully that makes sense. And then, again, you have the option for all these different styles if you want a check mark instead of the dot or whatever. So it's that simple. All you need to do is save it and then you can download it. So you can see the little blue boxes and then I'm just going to type in here so you can see. And then, you know, they can go all the way down. And then for the check boxes, so that was the check box I did. And then these two were the radio ones. So those will keep switching whichever one I choose. And obviously you would have text next to these or whatever you want to have the check mark next to. One other thing that I want to mention so that you know when you make your listings to put this in. And I would recommend putting this in your photos as well as in your description because people don't read the description a lot of times. But these cannot be edited on a mobile device. They can't be edited on tablets and phones. So they have to put this onto either like a laptop or a desktop computer in order to do the editing on this. So that's the only downside to it, but it really isn't that big of an issue if you make sure that they see that that's the case before they purchase. So now that you know how to make an editable PDF so easily, you can start adding these to your shop and start making money from them. If you wanna learn how to make some other printables, be sure to check out this video right here where I show you how to make coloring pages that you can sell. Thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day.